Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, students. Today we are going to continue the same chapter, and you know very well that uh, the last topic was about the media, and we were discussing about the guided media. When we say guided media, so it means that we are referring towards the cabled media, wired media, physical path, which is in the form of a wire, and that wire may be a copper wire or uh, some other kind of wire multiple or single wires different kinds of wires are there and we are going through each of them with their characteristics by studying their characteristics so last time uh, the lesson was about the coaxial cable and i had uploaded this thing in your uh, google classroom as well if you go and if you check over there in the google classroom you will see on the in the post of 20 20th of the august because on thursday we had the last class on 20th august so the lesson the topic that we studied and its video is there in your google classroom and the material also i provided to you in your google classroom so that you can go through it and i had mentioned ke please note down this all thing in your copies this is the thing that i have mentioned over here ke okay, please note down all the work in the copies in all the lessons i am mentioning this thing ke okay, you have to wrote you have to write these all things in your google from the google classroom in your copies in your notebooks just like on 19th we had gone through the twisted pair cable the unshielded and the shielded twisted pair cable on 18th of august we had gone through the different types of media the wired and wireless communication and their categories and sub categories and their their uh, we made the you know description about it ke what are basically different kinds of the uh, medias so in chronological order chronological means ke date wise date wise in chronological order we are going to have all the videos of the lessons not only the videos of the lessons but also the written material to write in the notebooks i am providing you to write in your notebooks okay now please come to the today's work i would like to have this is a very big problem uh, sometimes that i face in your class ke some students are there most of the students are there who don't perform uh, who don't participate they don't speak anything or the, whether they are shy or they are hesitating Uh, because you know you are in you are you are it is basically you, your growing age and you must have the courage to speak to participate because you have to go towards the higher levels so i want k all the students should be positively participate participating in the class and uh, whatever the question is going to be asked and you have to try for it whether right or wrong not necessary ki your answer is 100% correct not correct doesn't matter so that's why in the beginning of each lesson i ask you to give the review so that i can know okay whether whether you opened the book at home or not okay you opened the book or at home or not or you are just studying in the online class and you log in the class and you just uh, keep it open and then uh, you don't uh, listen to anything what is the condition we don't know so it's your responsibility to participate and to show that what work you are doing actually acha ji please raise the hand voluntarily no in no one is going to compel you ke everyone should answer but you should you yourself should have the courage and will to participate what is basically coaxial cable i had given you a number of examples i had told you in the last lesson what is basically coaxial cable yes please what is coaxial cable can anyone define any other students from the girls girls ikra amira tahir fiza kaisar all the other students why don't they pass participate they should raise the hand acha ji yes uh, faisal okay yes faisal
I have unmuted the mic. Quickly. Assalamu alaikum sir. Wa alaikum salam. Quickly. Coaxial cable or coax is a type of electrical cable consisting of an inner conductor surrounded by concrete conducting shield. Okay. Fine. How many wires are there in it, Faisal? How many wires are there? Copper wires. Sir. Remember? Do you remember the picture? Sir, eight. No, you are telling about the twisted pair. Okay. Anyway, let me ask someone else. Maz. Yes, Maz. Muhammad Maaz Aslam, I have unmuted the mic. Muhammad Zulkaf. Uh, it consists of a copper wire surrounded by insulating layer. How many wires are there? Copper wires, Dilkef? One. Only one. Yes. Only one thick copper wire is there. Comparatively thick, not thin. Comparatively thick. And uh, yes. as uh, Faisal has told that it is surrounded by an insulator. Okay. Non-conductor, not conductor. Insulator is there around it. And then afterwards, there is a wire mesh sheet. Okay. Yes, Maaz. Can you define the structure of the coaxial cable? How it looks like? Yes, sir. Yes, how, sir. Um, how it look looks like the coaxial cable? Coaxial is a type of cable that has inner conductor surrounded by the insulator layer, uh, layer surrounded by uh, by a conductive shielding. Hmm. Many okay. also have an insulating outer jacket. Uh, jacket the diagram below. Okay. So this is basically the structure. Where it is used? Now can you define Muhammad Abbas? Abbas, can you say something about it? Where it where the coaxial cable is used? Muhammad Abbas, I have unmuted your mic. Yes, sir. Uh, the coaxial uh, the coaxial cable is used in television networks. Baseband, uh, okay, and uh, TVs and uh, no analog uh, television networks widely use uh, coaxial cable. Normally, it is used in television cable, but it is also used as I told you, okay, it is also used for the networks of computers. And uh, in the thin net and the thick net, when we are making the network using uh, cabling system, which is basically based on the bus topology. So then at that time we are using it. Okay, fine. What are the different advantages and disadvantages? Yes, uh, Muniba. Can you tell about it? The advantages and disadvantages. Yes, quickly. So the advantages of the coaxial cable are it gives high bandwidth, bandwidth, better noise immunity, easy to install and expand, and inexpensive. And the single disadvantage is that single cable failure can disrupt the entire network. The disadvantage is that single cable failure can disrupt or can disturb, can break the entire, the entire network. This is the disadvantage. Good. And the advantage is that as uh, uh, Muniba has mentioned over here about the advantages. These are basically high bandwidth, better noise immunity, easy to install and expand. Uh, as I had given you different examples of the homes, uh, television and networks, and it is inexpensive. It is quite easily in low cost. It is available. Okay. Okay, fine. So uh, now, I think all these questions, because today we are going to cover an important uh, lesson, which is about fiber optic. Okay. Fiber optic is basically the next option that we are going to, going to go through. It is very important. And uh, you have to understand, I am going to share one important 
interesting video as well before going towards the fiber optic today's lesson is very important and very interesting and one important video is there that i am going to show you to explain the structure of the fiber optic but before going towards that thing let me mark for the attendance okay the attendance is starting from abdul aman to mushtaba abbas and then up to fiza kaiser okay acha ji now please pay attention now fiber optic you would have listened the name normally when uh, you have got internet connection you would have seen ke the company comes at your home and gives you a connection through a fiber optic cable your wife wi wifi router is there which is connected to a fiber optic cable and you are going to have a good uh, speed okay so basically what is fiber optic cable fiber optic cable does not conduct the digital current in the form of zeros and ones it does not conduct the digital current but basically the concept is based on the reflection of the light reflection of light it the current is not there but the data is being sent through the in the form of light signals okay you know very well that the energy can be converted from one form to another form so digital current is an energy that can be converted into light format and that could be transferred from one place to another and you know that the speed of light is comparatively of course a uh, high and it is better speed theek okay? hai through a core made up of glass or plastic so there is a plastic or glass which is used keep in mind ke plastic or glass is there which is used in the in the fiber optic cable just like you know that ke you are you are you are in your optics in your glasses that you use in your glasses there are two types of thing na when whether your glasses are made up of glass or your glasses are made up of transparent plastic so such kind of transparent plastic is there or such kind or kind of glass is there which is used in the fiber optical cable so its structure is comparatively different the core is surrounded by a less dense glass and plastic covering called the cladding and it is used for transmission of large volumes of data basically there are two types of materials one is called core and one is called cladding two types of materials are there if i can show you the image if you see in this image you will see that two types of materials are there in this picture you can see that two types of materials are there basically and these are the materials in which you are going to have core and cladding these are the two important things core and cladding matlab do tarah ka glass hoga do tarah ka plastic hoga ya shisha hoga core and cladding with the different refractive indices they both will have the different refractive indices and the data will transmit through it data is going to transmit using this material how it will transmit in this way by returning inside returning inside again and again it will go through the conductor i am going to show you one interesting video which will which is going to explain you it is used for transmission of large volumes of data the cable can be bi unidirectional or bi directional okay means the data can transmit in both the directions in the cables matlab there would be multiple cables one for one direction and one for another direction this is called wavelength division the wavelength division multiplexer supports two modes namely unidirectional and bi directional unidirectional or bi directional ka matlab kya what does it mean unidirectional means ke the data is going from source to destination only but bi directional means ke data is going from destination to source as well in both the direction source to destination and destination to source in both the direction when the data is moving so basically these are the two modes this is called wavelength division multiplexer this is used in the fiber optical cable so you will see that ke some different terminologies are there that we are using over here one is basically the core core is the term that will be used to define two types of materials which are there and the second material which is there is called cladding 
कोर एंड क्लैटिंग कोर इज इंटरनल प्लास्टिक क्लैटिंग इज एक्सटर्नल प्लास्टिक और ग्लास ओके दीज आर दू टाइप ऑफ मटीरियल दैट यू आर यूजिंग ओवर हेयर नाउ क्वेश्चन अराइजेज ओवर हेयर के हाउ द डेटा विल पास थ्रू इट बेसिकली द डेटा पास इज थ्रू दी मीडिया बिकॉज ऑफ जस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट phenomena of the light which is called refraction what is meant by refraction can anyone tell me about refraction is there anyone who can tell me about refraction this is the topic of the physics refraction refraction means ke when light enters through a high, through a light medium to dense medium or through a dense medium to to light medium it changes its direction when it changes its direction this is called what refraction so you will see that when you dip a pencil in the glass of a water you will see that the pencil looks in a turned position turned position this is called because of the refraction of light so how the light will travel will make it possible ke data can travel from the storage media this is the important thing that we are going to study in this video now see over here this has been made possible by a network of cables which are laid under the ground and below the ocean the cables which carry most of the world's data are optical fiber cables they are also used in medical equipment Let's learn how optical fiber cables work and how they have revolutionized the world around us. Optical fiber cable is made up of thousands of fiber strands and a single fiber strand is as thin as a human hair. Optical fibers carry information in the form of light. Let's first learn some fundamental behaviors of light to understand the workings of optical fibers. The speed of light changes when it passes through a medium. and this change in speed is expressed by the refractive index this variation in the speed of the light leads to another interesting phenomenon refraction to understand what it is let us carry out an interesting experiment in this experiment light passes through a prism you can see that at the interface the light gets bent instead of going straight this phenomenon is known as refraction Refraction occurs when light passes from a medium with one refractive index to one with another refractive index. The light bends towards the interface when it goes from a medium of high to one of low refractive indices. Refraction is the reason why a pencil looks bent in a glass of water. This simple refraction technique is effectively used in optical fibers. Now, let's make this experiment a hypothetical one. Using some dopants, we were able to increase the refractive index of the glass in real time. As we increase the refractive index, the light will bend more and more towards the surface. After a time, you can see that the light will pass through the surface of the glass. If we increase the refractive index further, the light will suddenly come back to the first medium as a pure reflection. This is called total internal reflection. The total internal reflection is possible if we increase the incident angle rather than increasing the refractive index. In this case, at a certain angle called the critical angle, the light will come back to the first medium. This phenomenon of total internal reflection is used in optical fiber cables to transmit the light. The simplest form of optical fiber cable is shown here, cylindrical glass with a high refractive index. If the laser strikes the interface at an angle greater than the critical angle, total internal reflection will happen and the light will reach the other end. Okay. Now you can see over here I am going to show you more in this video. Now you would have seen that ke basically the light is traveling because of which phenomena because of the phenomena of total internal reflection. means when the light passes through a higher medium to higher dense medium lighter medium to denser medium or dense medium to light medium it changes its direction just like they have shown you using a prism experiment ke the direction is being changed and when we increase the refractive index of the glass material by making it thick or changing the critical angle then you will see that Okay, the light is being refracted inside. This is called total uh, internal reflection, 
and then light will pass through in this way means in this zigzag way just like they have shown you over here okay, that the light is passing through in a zigzag way and in this way the data will travel basically data has been converted in the form of light and the data is being traveled in the beginning of the video this was told that the fiber optical cables are going through the inside the earth they have spread it and the, these are also going through the oceans and the data is basically being transmitted through the wires you in the form of light okay now we see the more steps which are, but are basically the things over there and i am going to explain each of each thing please pay attention this means that light can be confined in the optical fiber over a long distance no matter what complex shape the fiber forms Remember, total internal reflection happens between the high refractive index glass and the low refractive index air. However, optical fibers need a protective coating. A protective coating is not possible with this configuration. The introduction of protective material will replace the position of the air and cease the total internal reflection phenomenon. An easy way to overcome this issue is to introduce a low refractive index glass above the core glass, known as cladding. This way, total internal reflection will happen and we'll be able to use a protective layer. Both the core and the cladding use silica as their base material. The difference in the refractive index can be achieved by adding different types of dopants. The optical fiber we have just constructed won't be able to carry signals for more than... So what we have uh, seen over here, okay, inside core is there, having different refractive index, then cladding is there, having different inde refractive index. Matlab, two glass materials or two transparent plastic like materials are there and then afterwards there is a protection shield on it in order to protect the cable. And 100 kilometers. This is due to various losses that happen in the cable. This loss of signal strength is generally called attenuation. Absorption and scattering are the main reasons for signal attenuation. This is why you see amplifiers and cables after a certain distance. They boost the signal strength and allow signals to be transmitted over a long distance. Now the data will be transferred, you know, for 100 kilometers without any loss. But after 100 kilometers, the, there may be attenuation. Attenuation means weakness, weakness in the signal. So after 100 kilometers, when there is weakness in the signal, so what we are going to do? we are going to have an amplifier amplifier means k a mechanism a device which is used to boost the signal so that its weakness can be removed and it should come towards its actual strength it should come towards its actual strength so after 100 kilometers we have to install the amplifiers in order to reboost the signal to boost the signal so that it should not attenuate it should not lose its strength and this is done in this way, just like they have shown you the amplifiers over here. The power required for the amplifier is drawn from nearby sources. Now, back to the main topic. How does the optical fiber transmit information such as phone calls or internet signals? Now, they are, now this thing will be explained to you in this animation. Okay, when you are making a call with your cell phone, how fiber optic cable is involved in it? because your cell phone is wireless but what will happen your signal will reach to your nearest tower for example if you are using the service of orido or friendly or omontel so it will reach the nearest tower and then it will go towards the fiber optic cable now please pay attention and listen any information can be represented in the form of zeros and ones assume you want to send a hello text message through your mobile first this word will be converted into an equivalent binary code as a sequence of zeros and ones. After the conversion, your mobile phone will transmit these zeros and ones in the form of electromagnetic waves. One is transmitted as a high frequency and zero as a low frequency wave. Your local cell tower picks up these electromagnetic waves. At the tower, if the electromagnetic wave is of high frequency, a light pulse is generated. Otherwise, no pulse is generated. Now, these light pulses can easily be transmitted through optical fiber cables. 
The light pulses which carry the information have to travel through a complicated network of cables to reach their destination. For this purpose, the entire globe is covered with optical fiber cables. These cables are laid under the ground and below the ocean. It okay, so what happens when you are sending a signal through your cell phone? You are basically sending a message through your WhatsApp or any other messenger or any other, other app that you are using. So that data will basically convert it into digital numbers and then the, those digital numbers will be transmitted through your cell phones in the form of electromagnetic wave that will be received by your nearest tower, nearest uh, station of your service that you are using and it is going to convert it in the, in the, into the form that can transmit through the fiber optical cables. It is mainly the mobile service providers that maintain these underground cables. AT&T, Orange, and Verizon are some of the few global players who... Basically, fiber opticals are basically dealt by the cell phone companies which are providing you this, the services. They are saying that the cell phone companies are using and maintaining the fiber optic cables that they have got. And they have mentioned different names of the large organizations which are dealing with it, just like AT&T, Orange, and Verizon. To own and maintain the submarine cable network. A detailed cross-section view of an undersea cable is shown here. You can see that only a small portion of the cable is used for holding the optical fiber. The remaining area of the cable is a mechanical structure for protection and strength. Now, <laughs> the question is, where does the amplifier get power from under these deep oceans? Well, for this, a thin copper shell is used inside the cable. Okay, now in this diagram, one thing is being explained that in normal, when we draw a fiber optic, we say that there is core and cladding only. No, but the thing is that core and cladding, after core and cladding, basically core is the area where the light is being transmitted. But after core, you will see that steel wires are there to protect the cable. And then one copper shell is also there. Why this copper shell is there? This copper shell is there to provide current when amplifier is there because when, when, the, when the signal will reach to the amplifier where the signal is being weakened and the amplifier needs to re reboost or regenerate the signal. So from where it will get the current. So nominal current will also be there over here. Digital current will be there when this copper shell so one copper shell will also be there matlab steel covering is there then copper shell is there and on that copper shell there is an insulator so this is basically a typical diagram which is covering the other components now which are added in the fiber optical this is not a basic fiber optical it is basically the advanced fiber optical that uses such kind of components to make the communication stronger which carries electric power along the cable so that the amplifiers can be powered. This whole discussion simply means that if optical fiber cables do not reach a part of the globe, that part will be isolated from the internet or mobile communications. If we compare optical fiber cable to traditional copper cable. Now there is a comparison between the coaxial cable, coaxial cable and the fiber optic cable. Now please. The optical fiber cable is superior in almost every way. Fiber optic cables provide larger bandwidth and transmit data at much higher speeds than copper cables. This is because the speed of light is always greater than the speed of electrons. The flow of electrons in a copper cable generates a magnetic field, even outside of the cable, that can cause electromagnetic interference. On the other hand, the light which travels through the optical cable is always confined within the fiber. Thus, the chance of interaction with an external signal does not exist. One more interesting feature about optical fiber cables is that any light signal which enters from the side has a minimal chance of traveling along the cable. Thus, the optical fiber cables provide high data security. You might be amazed to know that optical fiber was first used in endoscopy even before it was used in the telecommunications field. In telecommunications, digital pulses are transferred through the optical fiber cable. However, in endoscopic cables, visual signals, which are in the analog form, are transmitted to the other end. Okay, so now in the comparison, what did we uh, see over there? 
we saw that ke if we compare the fiber optic cable with the coaxial cable we will see that the fiber optic is basically providing you better bandwidth and speed of course as compared to the coaxial cable and the coaxial cable you know very well ke it has got the chances of electromagnetic interference in it so there are very less chances of uh, you know problems in the fiber optic cable there are no chances almost so it is secure as compared to the coaxial cable this is another thing it is very much secure so these all are the things that we have gone through and at the end one important thing they have discussed ke fiber optic was initially introduced for the medical purpose it was used in the endoscopy endoscopy means ke uh, the, there was there was uh, there used to be an operation for the stomach in which they used to insert the cameras you know from mouth to see the position inside the stomach so it is called endoscopy so they used to use the fiber optical cable for that for the transmission of the data okay so now but it is used for the afterwards in 2000 basically it was introduced at commercial level when they started to install the fiber optic cable for the sake of data communication so over here what we have studied basically we have gone through these all uh, you know important options and uh, we have seen the diagram now let me read once again i have explained you the diagram in the video as well i have explained you the core encladding and how the data transmits just because of the total internal reflection in these figures you can see over here now if we go to the next slide we will see that basically what are the key advantages increased capacity and bandwidth lightweight if we compare it with the shielded twisted pair and if we compare it definitely twisted pair is not used in the in the wide area network in the wide area network the only wire is basically the fiber optic which is used then if we compare it with the coaxial cable we will see that it's lightweight weight is comparatively light then less signal attenuation signal is signal strength is basically high and signal atten attenuation starts after 100 km so when you reach to the 100 km you install amplifier to boost the signal immunity to immunity to the electromagnetic inter interference since the data is not being transmitted in the form of current so emi uh, electromagnetic interference is basically not there in this type of fiber optical cable this is an important thing which is normally there in the coaxial cable and even in the twisted pair cables uh, resistance to corrosive materials other materials which are there which can disturb it so they, it is very resistive against such kind of materials now the important thing is that it is most difficult to install if we compare it coaxial cable is most is the is basically the easiest one then uh, comes twisted pair it is comparatively difficult as compared to the coaxial but easier than the fiber optic but fiber optical is the most difficult one to install whenever you are installing so its installation is not that much simple cost of course cost is uh, high if we compare it so it is Uh, having a very much cost as compared to the twisted pair cable and the coaxial cable then comes towards the last point which is fragile fragile means ke uh, it is basically you know uh, not that much strong because it can be broken it is made up of glass so it can be damaged so you need to be careful about it that's why you would see that it has a protection protection insulation and then you know steel steel is also there that i steel wires are also there with it so that to protect it so that it should not be broken that is basically the point of fragile ke and it definitely it, it increases its cost as well when we are using such kind of protection data transmission is very fast in order to get such kind of uh, you know advantages basically we are making we are trying to make it protected in all the aspects because it is going through underground and it is going through under the sea it's fine so 
it should be protected in all regards so this is basically the thing that we have discussed today it is about the fiber optical cable i am going to upload this all material that the data that i have shared with you what is fiber optic what is its structure different this diagram is important you should know this is the diagram that is very much important diagram where we are describing the core and cladding how data reflects and the how data transmits as i have told you in this video ke how is go, data is going to be transmitted through the uh, core because of the total internal reflection this is an important thing that you need to understand up to here if you have got any question please uh, ask me if you have got any question kindly anything that you would like to ask me please if you have got anything kindly ask me please raise your hand okay nothing is there it means all the things are clear to all of you okay fine so we have uh, now our class time is about to over this is the portion i am going to give you the url of this video this is the portion of the video where the total internal reflection is basically uh, being explained to you okay when the reflection phenomena is there basically okay, when light enters from dense to higher me medium light medium or from light medium to denser medium it changes its direction so this is the phenomena that uh, you need to understand over here okay how it works basically this is called the refraction this is called refraction and because of this quality of the glass and the plastic material basically the light travels in the core and the cladding that we are using in our mechanism okay so you will have to see this video it this video will explain you the internal total internal reflection and this this topic is also there in the physics as well A reflection and refraction and what is meant by refractive index Uh, you may have the practical of the physics uh, to to define the refractive index of a prism so such kind of things are there so this video is quite helpful for you so thank you so much all of you if you have got uh, any question anything that you want to ask please ask me because our class time is now about to over thank you so much